Hi, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today we're gonna refresh our memory on one of my oldest videos where I showcase how you can show people pick a columns inside of Power BI. But one of the viewers asked if that's possible to show these types of columns like the multi-select column, also the people picker, which in this case also multi-select uh, in one single row. Because as we know, if we expand these uh, types of columns in Power BI, this will create uh, duplicates for our other columns like title, ID, and so on and so forth. So everything that's written one single time, it will be duplicated uh, by the amount of times a multi-select column is being selected. So if that makes sense. Um, so in our example here, if we expand this in Power BI for the color column, uh, which is a multi-select choice column, it will show three rows. So test one, it will be showing three times. And the people column here, uh, the same, but in this case, five times. So I can understand that sometimes it's that's not necessary and uh, may, may, may you might need that to be in one single row. And that's something we can do in Power BI with a little trick. So let me show you how to do that. But first, if you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe to the channel. Have fun. Okay, so now we are in my Power BI desktop client. And as you can see on the left hand side, I've imported that SharePoint list um, once and then, multi uh, then duplicated it for four times. So SR means single row, MR means multi row. So I've uh, split this for once for the people picker column and once for the multi select column, which is the colors, just for you to make it uh, a little bit easier for you to understand it. So as you can see, this uh, state where we are at the, this moment is the one that, yeah, when you connect to the SharePoint list and then you eliminate all the colors that you don't need. In this case, we have kept only our title, the ID of that list item, and our um, our complex column. No? In this case, people, picker, and our multi-choice column. And uh, yeah, then you are presented with this uh, option here, which is uh, it's it's a it's a column, and then it has that row, which is a table. So it's a table inside of the row. And if you want to expand this, you have to click on these two arrows here, which go in different directions. And for the people picker column, you have a, a huge variety of metadata that you can use. Usually you grab either the email address or whatever you need, but usually you grab here first name, last name, maybe concatenate them and then you have in one row um, the first name and last name, last name, something like a full name. But as you can see, we have now five duplicates for our title and our ID. And um, how do you have now, or how do you expand that um, this this column here? to be all in one row. And also you want it to be first name, last name, then comma, first name, last name, then comma, first, first name, last name, and so on and so forth. So it's a bit tricky, but, um, and there's no way that I know at least to do it uh, from here by using something in the, in the ribbon or like, like something like that. So we need to uh, do a little bit of uh, code writing, it's one, one liner in the advanced editor. So we have here this multi row here, people picker uh, query and we click in advanced editor. And then here we can see the steps that we've already taken. Let me uh, make this a bit wider. And then we can see here um, the filtered row set step that we took here. We have the expanded content, removed columns, that the ones that we don't need. And this is where we are at the moment. So um, let me grab the code that I've created here and paste it inside of this of this um, editor. So we need here to write a comma and then paste that in there. Let me make it bigger. And then we are what we are doing here. I think this is a bit small to see. Let me grab it from the editor. Okay, I hope you can read this a bit better. So up until here is the section that we had. And what we're doing here, we are doing a new step called extract list. And then we are transforming the columns from that table and we're grabbing the response, for the return from the removed columns. And then for the, the column content.people, which we have uh, in our previous step, is for each of that, we are combining the text and uh, then from that table, we are transforming here the rows 
for each of the row, we grab the first name and then we add a, a space and then the last name and then we add a comma. Yeah? So at the end, we want them to return in our in section this extract list. Yeah? And if we paste all of that here, click done, we have here our list of um, people which we can then show in one row. No? For example, here, if you want to have a semicolon, for example, click enter and then you have a semicolon separated. No? So this is how then you can show the multi-people picker column from SharePoint as a single line in Power BI. And the same thing we can do also with our multi-select column. So if we go here, now here we have only one value, which is called value. And um, in the advanced editor, let me copy that other code, is this part here, which is the same, but instead of um, grabbing the first name and the last name from that expand possibilities from those metadata, um, we grab only the value. Uh, so that's what we are doing here. Let's paste this here. This is the only extra step. Huh? Done, and then you have here the colors. Again, here you can select um, uh, a semicolon. No, and then you have a semicolon here. Um, or you can add a space after the semicolon, so you have it a little bit more separated. It's all pretty easy to do then. And then you have everything in one row. That's it, actually. Yeah, so this is uh, how you can show the multiple lines then in one single row. Let me know in the comments what you think, uh, what use cases you, you will need it. And if you need any help, let me know as well. And uh, keep in mind that if you do it this way, then you cannot filter based on, um, then you, can, you cannot use it in a slicer. No? So for example, if you had this in single rows, you could use this in, um, in a slicer visual. So to choose if you want to filter by black, by gray or white. No? But in this case, you cannot because it's just a long string. But yeah, maybe you have a use case where you can need it. And uh, if you do so, here it is. So you're welcome. Um, yeah, that's it for today. If you like the video, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and that you give it a thumbs up so that uh, you don't miss anything else. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Bye.